Hello and welcome everyone. Here is the news for 23, May 2024. Did the Simpsons predict the allegations against Diddy? Missing Kenyan climber Chariot Karui found dead on Mount Everest. Catherine Dennis caught on dashcam video having meltdown after DUI stop. Let's get started. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss our upcoming video. The Simpsons showrunner Matt Selman recently addressed rumors that the series had predicted the downfall of music mogul Diddy, following the viral spread of an eye-generated image depicting Diddy as a character from the show fleeing the police in a pink suit. The image, widely shared across social media, was quickly debunked by Selman in an interview with TMZ, emphasizing the challenges and misconceptions around digital misinformation. Selman highlighted the problematic nature of such fabrications, noting that in today's digital age, anyone can create an eye image that misleadingly aligns with current events, and proclaim that The Simpsons had made a prediction. This phenomenon, he explained, capitalizes on the audience's desire for such predictions to be true, despite their baselessness. The specific eye-generated image of Diddy was particularly convincing because it featured him in a pink suit he had worn before thereby gaining rapid traction and belief among fans and the general public. Furthermore, Selman addressed the broader context of why The Simpsons seems to have an uncanny knack for predicting events. He clarified that the show's seeming prescience is not mystical but rather a combination of historical knowledge and sheer volume of content. Over its long run, having produced almost 800 episodes filled with myriad jokes about American society, some of the scenarios depicted were bound to coincide with real-life events statistically. The showrunner dispelled the myth of the show having a prophetic ability, suggesting instead that it is the repetitive nature of human folly and the extensive breadth of topics covered by the show that account for these coincidences. While fans might enjoy thinking of these coincidences as predictions, Selman reassures that it is merely a blend of history, math, and cultural commentary that makes The Simpsons occasionally mirror reality. The mountaineering community mourns the loss of Chariot Karui, a Kenyan banker and seasoned climber, who tragically died during an expedition on Mount Everest. Karui, known for his passion for high-altitude climbing, previously conquered Mount Kenya over 10 times. His latest venture was to scale Everest without the use of supplemental oxygen, a challenge he believed would truly test his limits. Karui went missing above 8,000 meters, a perilous area known as the Death Zone, due to its extreme conditions, and was later found deceased just below the summit. This zone above 8,000 meters poses significant risks due to the thin air and low oxygen levels, which can lead to severe hypoxia, where body tissues are deprived of adequate oxygen. Despite the risks, Karui had expressed prior to his hike that using supplemental oxygen would diminish his sense of achievement. His body was discovered by a rescue team from Seven Summit Treks, the expedition organizers that included climbers from various countries. The circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Nwang Sherpa, who accompanied Karui in the death zone, remain unclear. The news of Karui's death was reported by Everest today and confirmed by the Himalayan Times, noting the profound impact of his ambitious spirit on the mountaineering world. He is remembered for his indomitable will and is survived by grieving family and friends, who await further details about the tragic incident. This incident marks Karui as the second fatality in this particular expedition, following Romanian climber Gabriel Tavara. The mountaineering community and Karui's colleagues at Kenya Commercial Bank are left to grapple with the harsh realities and dangers of high-altitude climbing. Reality TV star Catherine Dennis, known for her stint on Southern Charm, was arrested for DUI after being involved in a three-car collision in Goose Creek, South Carolina. The incident, which took place on a Monday, was captured in extensive police dashcam footage that revealed the dramatic and emotional circumstances of her arrest. According to Goose Creek Police Department, officers responded to the scene where they observed Dennis exhibiting signs of intoxication. She reportedly had glossy eyes and the smell of alcohol on her breath. The dashcam video, obtained by TMZ, starts with Dennis walking towards a patrol car, dog and designer bag in hand, under the watchful eye of a police officer. The footage shows her undergoing a series of field sobriety tests, which she apparently failed, leading to her being handcuffed and placed in the back of a police cruiser. The situation escalated as Dennis, overwhelmed by emotions, began to cry and plead with the officer. She expressed fear over the possibility of being separated from her dog and made various statements indicating her distress and desperation. 
Dennis mentioned her familiarity with legal troubles, referencing her ex's criminal history, and emphasized her role as a mother, stating that her primary concern was for her children. This incident marks a stark contrast to Dennis' public persona as a main cast member on Southern Charm for eight seasons, a show she left in 2023. Her arrest not only highlights personal challenges but also adds a significant chapter to her public narrative, one she likely wishes could be erased. As the footage circulates, it underscores the serious repercussions of driving under the influence and the personal fallout that can ensue from such public incidents.